Um, yeah, so she fa was a falconry bird originally. Okay. Um, which is part of the reason she's so used to us. Is from sure. a very young age, she's been around around people. Um, yeah, she was for for reasons we're not 100 percent sure about. She was not a great hunter. That, that's um, what I that's what I heard. Yeah. So she was donated to us, which has been terrific because she just is such the, a the solid colors bird. Are just magnificent. I know. And she's a lot. Uh, yeah. The, the the spring, especially the the beak and the areas around her eyes go a little brighter. Spectacular and, bird. Yeah. At this point. Really. Yeah. So middle middle age. Oh, okay. I, I was just going to ask uh, how what's basically the the max age that they can get to. Twenty five ish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Spectacular. The, the eyes and the head coloration just knock me down. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. This is a cool bird. <laughs> <laughs> So she is getting a day old chick today, which we like to feed them because we can give them the entire animal and it's a good source of nutrients. She gets pretty excited when food comes out. Um, we train them to sit calmly and ideally actually glance away when we give them the food, which she, you can see she's doing the glance away. She doesn't really have the wings folded yet. Let's see if I can get her to really cooperate. There, that was great. So she knows what she's supposed to do, but she gets a little excited, and sometimes she tries to cheat also. Um, so yeah, so that is a day-old chick. Um, so like I said, it's a great source of nutrients for them, because they'll eat the whole, the whole animal. A lot of the food we have has been frozen and then thawed, and we got it just for safety, because uh, the uh, bacteria in the digestive tract after being frozen and thawed could make the birds sick but they lose out on a little bit of nutrition that way. So we give them day-old chicks every now and then. All of their nutrition for meat, they're eating nothing else. So they have to, uh, they have to be able to get everything they need from eating animals. And there's a lot, a lot of vitamins and minerals in organs. Are the yeah. typical bald eagle food. Um, these guys being bird hunters, we try to give them either these day-old chicks or chicken. Um, oh, sometimes okay. they get quail, actually, which seems I'm kind of almost jealous when they get quail, to <laughs> <Yeah>. be honest. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and the chicken is normal, you know, from a farm, normal chickens. Um, the rats and mice come from uh, either control group animals from the university, ones that haven't yeah. had stuff injected into them, <laughs> or, uh, you know, there is such a thing as a rodent farm, as weird as that seems. Yeah. Is it, was, it chicken? What is that? that? That is a little piece of, yeah, a little chicken. A little chicken. Yeah. Could I? Could we take a picture? Yeah. Ashton, you want a picture with the falcon? Okay. You know, look at the markings. The pretty, the, the striped. It, are they all uh, like this? How oh, that turned out. You know, the falcon was moving his head. It might be difficult well, because he's to. eating. Might be look a at tricky. how. Look at. Look at. Watch him how he devours <laughs> that. What is that? That's uh, chicken. That's, looks like a vein that he just... That, that's I think that was intestines. What? <laughs> I think that was the intestines it just got. Intestines. That's a really tiny chicken. It is. Is it baby? It is. Look at that. I, how old is this falcon? About 15. Do you think that's gross? We technically eat chicken intestines. Mm -hmm. We technically eat chicken intestines. That's as oh. gross as eating a hot dog. That's even less gross. It's true. It's less gross stuffed in edible tubes, so yeah, that's like l this less gross than the hot dog. That falcon likes that. Yeah, chicken. she likes food a lot. Well, so. We like chicken. That's just chicken except it's raw. True. And you can tell as she's eating, she's got this pouch in her throat that the food goes in, which you can tell is Ooh, getting bigger. Mm -hmm. I got a good so one. So actually, if you mm -hmm. get a profile shot on her, you can really see the crop there. It's like yeah. she swallowed a baseball. Meh. We do that, it goes down on Matthew. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at it. he realizes he's, he's like, done. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? He's uh, like, hey. This is, is this actually a female? He's uh, like, hey, Artemis. Artemis. Oh, that's like, hey, a female. Are you? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Artemis. Hi. Oh, you're a pretty bird. Ooh, yeah. Ooh don't pick your feet. <laughs> she, she's on her toenails a little bit. It's very odd. <laughs> uh, no, I never did. That's a nice one too. Look at That's even better when I think yeah, he's trying to pose look for a picture. Look at how regal they look. Posing for a picture. <laughs> he's still deciding what to look like. 
Now, what's what's her story? Was she is she a resident, or she, is she going to be released? No, she's a resident. She's yeah, because actually, fifteen years, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, she's actually a bird that was legally captured for falconry, um, and was donated to us by the falconer when she, for for reasons we're not sure about, she wasn't performing very well. She was not a great hunter, oh, um, so she came to us. But she's been around people pretty much her whole life because of that. Um, so she ended up here with us, yeah. and we got a bird who was very calm with people. She's, really? I think, calm. Yeah. She, does she have a? Does she cry? Does she have a call? She does. Uh, it's sort of just a uh, repeating, high pitched oh. ee 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 sort uh -huh. of thing. Mm -hmm. Really, these guys have very short digestive tracts. Yeah. Um, which keeps the weight down. I mean, there's okay. less less organ matter there in the first place, and it also means the food passes through quickly. Mm -hmm. But that sort of um, shoots them in the foot a little bit because yeah. they save that much weight but that would mean without the crop they wouldn't actually be able to eat very much yeah. in one sitting so the crop uh, while not it doesn't make them heavier on its own because it's just a pouch in the esophagus okay. but it allows them to really gorge themselves yeah. especially a bird like this you know, she weighs two pounds these birds can kill a bird as large as a Canada goose which oh, is okay. you know, 16, 18 pounds oh, okay. um, and even even smaller birds like a pigeon is going to be a, still a big meal yeah. for her so it's going to be over the next probably it would be totally gone over the next two or three hours oh, okay. punching down if she was nervous and the wings would start coming out um, and not in the I'm excited for food way that you saw earlier <laughs> if she was getting nervous um, yeah I mean they just start looking around a lot they start shifting from foot to foot um, really what they're doing is they're they're looking for a place to try to get away to if she's scared. Because these are not birds that um, fight in the face of danger. You know, they're so fast and agile, the best way for them to protect themselves is just to leave, just to go away. Uh, so, but right now, I mean, I can feel she's sitting perfect, you know, mm -hmm. her weight's stable, she's not moving around, she's not shifting. She's looking, she's looking at us, but that's just because <laughs> she's curious.